Hi there everyone, this is Mario as usual and welcome to a new M Studio tutorial. Today I'm starting a new series of videos about After Effects and some Cinema 4D too. A lot of you asked me to talk about tracking and so let's get started. This first tutorial is going to be about point tracking in After Effects and I am going to explain it in a way that no one or maybe just a few people have already done. What I mean is that I'm going to explain you how to track not just a perfectly trackable plate, but a piece of footage that needs some adjustment to solve the task. Because this is what happens in the real world. I have the video of this car and I would like to attach something to its side. Like this. Point tracking in After Effects is not straightforward, and I invite you to precisely follow these steps in the same order I am going to show them to you. First of all, go to Layer, New, and create a new null object. Let's give it a name, call it, uh, no, Grip. Hello, Mr. Grip. Then we have to inspect our scene and find a point that can be potentially tracked. To track a point, it must have the following qualities. High contrast, ideally black on white. Perfect focus, so as less blur as possible. No motion blur either, so pay attention when you set up and move your camera. I have tried many different points on this shot and I have found that the best one, even if not outstanding, is this little guy here on top of the car. Our second step is to select the clip in the timeline and go to Animation Track Motion. A double square should appear on the screen and we are going to move it to the point we want After Effects to follow. The small square represents the area where the point is right now. The outside square is where the point can be in the following frame, a sort of search area. So adjust them accordingly with your scene. Most of the people will now tell you to hit the Analyze button in the Tracker panel, but I think this is not the best thing to do. What I propose you is to click the button just next to it, to follow the behavior of the tracker frame by frame. This will allow you to check if everything is going well, and as soon as you see that the analysis is going straight to hell, well, correct the aim and go on. When you have reached the end of the tracking process, the hard work is done. Just click the Edit Target button and select the null object we have created at the beginning. Mine was called Grip, Mr. Grip again. Then click the Apply button to confirm that you want to use both the X and the Y values of the tracking. What you have now is a null object that follows your point and to whom you can attach anything with the parenting spiral and... Cool shit, huh? So, this was my first tutorial about point tracking in After Effects. More videos are coming, so subscribe to my channel for more episodes like this, give me a thumb up if you liked this training session, write all your questions and thoughts in the comments section, and as usual, I'm Mario from M Studio. make me proud. Ciao! Oh shit, did I say shit? Can you say shit on YouTube? Yeah.